Hi, my name is John from Copper Wi-Fi, and just a quick announcement before we get to the video. We have a brand new website, it's called u5networks.com, and it's dedicated to Ubiquiti gear. So if you need anything from Ubiquiti, uh, including the Air Max line, just go ahead and check that out and let us know how we can help. So today's video, however, we're going to be doing a full stack of Ubiquiti, and it's going to be the switch, the router, access point, and we're going to control it with their brand new product, the Cloud Key. I'll show you how to set all that up for the controller. So give me a couple minutes, I'm going to set all this stuff up, get it uh, hooked up to our demo lab, and I'll show you how I have it all configured. All right, we have everything plugged in. Mike, if you want to get a little closer here. Our green cable here is going back to our demo lab at uh, IP subnet of 200.x. Uh, that's where we're going to get our internet connection from. The USG, uh, the USG here is default subnet 192.168.1.1. And that'll hand out DHCP. We're going to have that coming to port one of the Unify Switch 24 250 watt. That's going to power and provide the connectivity for the Unify APACs. Uh, these are the light versions. Then we're going to control the entire setup by the uh, cloud key right here. And one thing to note is that there's a little uh, stick here that you got to throw in. It's a little hard drive that uh, will flash drive that plugs in. And when you're opening the box, be sure you don't to lose that. It comes in a little plastic bag. So, from here on out, we're actually going to go to my computer, and I'll do some screenscapes with you and show you the entire setup. Okay. So, first thing we need to do is get the Ubiquity um, app for Chrome, and it's the UBNT Discovery tool. This tool can scan and find uh, different Ubiquity devices through their CDP discovery. And you can see here that we click Find Cloud Key under the Unify family, it pops it right up and it has a link to go to it. So we're going to click on there and hit the cloud key setup specifically. And you can see it has uh, 192.168.1.7. We'll click Manage. And this is going to bring us to the initial setup for the cloud key. Uh, this is pretty straightforward. It's just going to ask us some very basic questions about how we want to set up our initial network and how it's going to provision those devices for that network. So it takes a second for it to come up. We are in the United States with UTC-5. We're going to adopt our two devices, our USG as well as our switch. We'll hit next. We're going to create a secure SSID for our Wi-Fi devices and copper Wi-Fi and we're going to put in there uh, just a generic password. I'm just going to use admin admin for our demo here. And that is really it. All we have to do now is go admin admin to log into the uh, uh, cloud key. Zoom out here. And you can see that we do not have everything provisioned right now. We don't have access to the, the uh, to the internet, and we are currently setting those devices up for access. And I'm going to pause right here because I actually had an error when I was provisioning my devices. I actually lost the IP address and I couldn't get to it. So I had to rescan. I went to back to the discovery tool. Could not find it did not come up on a scan. It did, however, come up on just an angry IP scan. Uh, so I did find it here Let me check that out. Came up at 1.12 instead of 1.7 where the original DHCP lease was for. So let's go to 1.12. We'll just check it out real quick. I can SSH to it. Uh, just make sure that it is the cloud key. Put in my password, it is, and just do a simple ping to it comes back no problem. So all we have to do is come back to our web browser, change that 7 to a 12, and we can get back in and con continue configuring our device. So that was one hiccup that I had with this. So after we get in here, you can see that we have access to our demo lab. It's getting on the internet, and our wireless is still down. So on the uh, APACs uh, lights, we have um, 24 volt requirement. However, it's uh, PoE Plus is the default output for it. So we need to come over here and configure our power so that our access points can turn on and we can adopt them to our cloud key. And that's just as simple as selecting the ports. We'll select two and four here. Scroll uh, at the bottom here, we select them. Passive 24 volt, apply. And actually this is one thing to note as well. Every time we turn on PoE, we actually get a connection drop. Hit try again a couple times. I find it best just to reload the page at the top. It comes right back up. So if you have that error, that's why it's there. 
So then we can verify power is getting to our devices. Uh, I'm looking at them here, they have turned on. And this is just some information about the switch because we haven't selected any ports. You can see here some other inf configurable uh, uh, settings here for VLANs. We'll probably go into those later. You can see the ports here have linked up at a gig. They're delivering uh, passive PoE, 24 volt. And go back to our dashboard. Now we need to adopt these devices. We have four devices now. Refresh it. And we'll go ahead and adopt these. This takes a couple minutes. I'm going to speed this process up. And it, doesn't, it takes a little longer than that. Zoom out here. Now we have two access points. We can go to the settings. We can see that the copper Wi-Fi SSID is being broadcast. And we can connect to it. And that is essentially it. That is a very basic full stack ubiquity setup. Again, using a USG 24-port uh, PoE switch. Uh, the cloud key for management, as well as two access points, the APAC lights. So if you guys have any questions, please leave them below, and we'll go from there. We'll have some more videos about this in the future here. Thank you very much.